Hi YouTube, here's my 1993 Hoover Legacy Supreme. I got this off Craigslist USA. I think it was from Beverly Hills, uh, which is, I believe, in Los Angeles. Um, but anyway, back in the day, this was the top of the line Hoover Upright, the Legacy um, model. Um, and it's one of the, I would say, subsidiaries of um, the Elite, because it's Elite style, if you look at the back, all this is Elite, um, but there's some differences that um, made it um, top end, um, with slight additional features that Elites didn't have. The main one, apart from the styling, being that the hose was permanently connected into the cleaner head and you didn't have to take it off and attach it to the tools. Um, so basically all I did was set the um, slider for the height adjustment to number 5 and that was your cleaning tools and it puts this little diverter in the um, in the air path that goes to the nozzle and sends the suction through the hose. Pretty much identical to our turbo power total systems. But of course you've got the very typical 4 position height adjustment that Hoovers have. There's some nice green letter in here as well that matches the cleaner head. 7.3 amps. Um, now this being a slightly later legacy model, um, it doesn't tell you what the name of the vac is on the cleaner head like earlier legacy and elites did. Um, later ones had the name of it on the bag door, rather if it was a soft bag it'd have it printed on the bag. Um, but like I said, this being a later one, it it has it up there and not on there. Um, headlight as well, of course. Stair cleaning handle there. And of course, this is a hard box one, so your bags, your bags, your bag is inside the hard plastic casing. I think it takes Type A bags. They seem to fit okay. They're a bit wide for the housing, but. It's like that on Elites as well. So as you can see it says Hoover in very nice big letters. Legacy Supreme, energy efficient, 99.9% microfiltration down to 5 microns. Um, now if anyone's seen that 1993 Hoover ad, the Nobody Does It Like You one, this is the actual model that they used, the upright that they used in the advert. Of course it's not the exact one, but it's the same model. So up here we've got an air freshener as well. So it says lift slide to change tablet. So you just pull this out, sort of angle it back and it comes out like that. It's got a little tablet in there. Doesn't really smell of anything anymore but there you go. So it's got two positions really. You've got max then minimum so that's obviously all the way open, and that's closed. Uh, well, it's three position, but it only clicks twice. That makes sense. Switch on the handle. Very legacy type thing. And it also has the, um, the thicker handle grip. It's the same handle, but with this plastic piece on top, which the legacy legacy legacies had as well. Um, now, um, you could just leave the tools off this if you didn't want them on, like if you didn't want to attach them, because if you take the hose out, it does have a little door that closes automatically, um, which has a rubber seal on, so you can use it without the hose in place, but I mean, why would you want to? It'd be less convenient, or not as convenient that should be. Um, but the hose is a very nice length, it's very long, a lot longer than the ones we got on our turbo powers. I mean, that is very long and it's very nice and stretchy as well. And the tool store 
in the side of the caddy rather than on the back like um, other models did. They did do legacies with the um, stretch hose and the tools on the back as well but I think this was the more deluxe version because it had two ones. Um, but the tool store in the side behind this nice little plastic door. So you've got the crevice tool. Got the upholstery tool. These tools look like they've hardly been used. I mean I can't think why. <laughs> but you've got the dusting brush there as well. Very big dusting brush, relatively soft bristles. And what's nice about these is they actually show you, I don't know if you can see that, shows you where the tools go. I mean, it's rather self-explanatory, but just in case a person didn't know, they have provided little pictures. And to my surprise, when I first got this, I found that it had um, a spare belt on board. It actually says there, spare belt. So that's cool. Round to the back got the two ones so you can get a quite a long reach on this and also a very long cord it's about 11 meters I don't know what that is in feet but when I measured it it was about 11 meters which is very long let's plug this in and go get the plug the right way around there we go. Oh, and I'll just show you underneath. So it's got a double row brush roll, which again, at the time, some elites only had a single row brush roll, so this was uh, quite a higher end thing to have the two rows of bristles. Um, it's quite dark under here, sorry. Um, it's got little tracks there, the metal ones. And I'll just show you the rating sticker. Oh, look at that, the hose has come out. You can never get the hose out when you want to use it, but it always pops out when you don't need it to. But anyway, here's the rating sticker. So 0993 there. That means it was made in September 93. So it's exactly one year older than me. Uh, 120 volts, 7.3 amps, made in USA. So there we go. Back into focus there. There's a view of the back of it. So I'll just quickly show it you in action. I won't put any dirt down or anything, but I'll just show it you in use. So it's quite heavy and bulky compared to an Elite, but there you go. Anyway, here we are. Strangely enough, the hose suction isn't as strong on this as it is on my Elite 2, 
which has a 5 amp motor, this is 7.3 amps. Although my Elite 2 has a 9 bladed fan and this has a 7 bladed fan so that might um, make a difference, I don't know. But anyway, there you go. There's my Hoover Legacy Supreme. So thanks for watching.